Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. She's done. Maxine Waters officially requested to resign. Republican Congressman Andy Biggs from Arizona introduced a measure on Monday calling on the Democrat Congresswoman from California Maxine Waters to apologize to the White House for endangering their lives and sowing seeds of discord. The initiative also asks for censure with would force the Congresswoman from her position and to release a public statement saying harassment or violence isn't a form of protest. This measure comes after Waters encouraged harassment of Trump White House administration officials over the weekend at a rally in Los Angeles. Last weekend the congresswoman said told anyone who sees members from Trump's cabinet in a restaurant, or a department store, or at a gasoline station, to create a crowd in order to push back on them. And to tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. These comments obviously sparked condemnation across the political spectrum, from both sides of the aisle. She later told MSNBC that protesters are going to absolutely harass them. Here is more via Newsmax. The California Democrat told MSNBC, these members of his cabinet who remain and try to defend him, they're not going to be able to go to a restaurant, they're not going to be able to stop at a gas station, they're not going to be able to shop at a department store. The people are going to turn on them. They're going to protest. They're absolutely going to harass them until they decide that they're going to tell the president, no, I can't hang with you. This is wrong. This is unconscionable." She was referring to several instances where the public has already angrily confronted White House officials in public spaces over the administration's zero-tolerance policy toward illegal immigrants, which led to the separation of parents from their children. Waters emphasized, I have no sympathy for these people that are in this administration who know it's wrong what they're doing on so many fronts, but they tend to not want to confront this president or even leave, but they know what they're doing is wrong. The Biggs initiative states that Waters' statements could directly and unnecessarily lead to public unrest, physical violence, and physical injury. Not a far-fetched notion since members of the cabinet have already been harassed before. The initiative currently has the full support of five members of Congress. Biggs told The Hill that Waters' comments do not become somebody who's in Congress and that everybody agrees that it was just highly objectionable what she did. Here is more on this breaking news via Fox News. A Republican congressman on Monday introduced an initiative to censure California Democratic Rep. Maxine Waters and ask for her resignation after she encouraged others to confront Trump administration officials. Rep. Andy Biggs, R. Oz, introduced a measure calling on the congresswoman to apologize to the White House for endangering their lives and sowing seeds of discord, resign from her position, and release a public statement saying harassment or violence isn't a form of protest. The measure comes after Waters encouraged harassment of Trump administration officials over the weekend at a rally in Los Angeles. If you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd and you push back on them, and you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere, she said, sparking condemnation across the political spectrum. She later told MSNBC that protesters are going to absolutely harass them. The Biggs motion claims that Waters' statements could directly and unnecessarily lead to public unrest, physical violence, and physical injury and that members of the administration have already been harassed in public. The motion reportedly already attracted the support of five members of Congress. Biggs told The Hill that Waters' comments do not become somebody who's in Congress and that everybody agrees that it was just highly objectionable what she did. So we just introduced it, we have some co-sponsors. But what she did was to basically incite people to come after and attack members of the president's cabinet, he said. And also spread that out to more people. Waters has since doubled down on her comments at a rally, insisting that she didn't suggest harming people. Trump is the one who is creating lies, Waters said during a Monday afternoon news conference. Trying to have people believe that I talked about harming people. There's nowhere in my statement, anytime, any place that we talked about harm. I have nothing to do with the way people decide to protest. Protest is the democratic way as long as it is peaceful," Waters added. I believe in peaceful protest. It is guaranteed to you in a democracy. What kind of people elect and re-elect someone like Maxine Waters to Congress? Is this really the best and brightest the Democrat Party in California can do? Who am I kidding? Yes, it is the best the Democrat Party can do and it fully explains how they have managed to turn a once glorious golden state full of opportunity and beauty into a third world crime and poverty infested cesspool. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.